Okay, Mr. Keller, how do you think uh, the one laptop, one laptop per child can help Africa and uh, what are your next steps? I think it can help uh, Africa and people in the developing world by getting technology into the hands of children that allows them to think through problems, to use computer technology in a way that fosters critical thinking, and in addition, which is a huge benefit, to be connected to the internet and to people worldwide, which has never happened before in remote parts of the world. What are the major difficulties of uh, African countries um, regarding your project? Some of the major difficulties are funding. It's the least expensive laptop in the world, although one of the most highly sophisticated, designed specifically for children. And at $200, it's not expensive. We sell it for what it costs us to, to make. It's still too expensive. So we need to figure out how to get the price down further, how to get other countries and private sector institutions and individuals and wealthy countries to, to seed some projects in a substantial way so that over the long term governments will find that this is a, a priority, uh, a budgetary priority for them so they can commit to it. Infrastructure in some countries is a problem. Uh, connectivity is a challenge. But these are things that can be overcome. Right now we need to get funding to get it down to, to really zero dollars. Okay, why an African uh, education ministry should buy one laptop per child computer? Because if you think about it in the first instance, this is, even if everything else fails, which it won't, but it's a library in a box. So all of a sudden, you've got children carrying around their own library. 300, 400, who knows, 500 books? That's 300 or 400 or 500 more than they've ever had before. It allows them to think through problems, to think critically, to get connected to the world. It is a 24-hour-a-day educational project that allows children to learn, to think, to connect, to explore, to create every minute of the day, not just in school, but far beyond school. Thank you very much. Thank you.